Sonny's grave. Will they do? getting a medal from the president and when I went to go shake his hand I tripped and kind of punched him in the neck in the neck I tripped you sucker punched the president in the neck you just love making me look like an asshole don't you you know you should have been a tabloid journalist oh screw you oh I'm sorry I forgot that you subject both your parents were killed by tabloid journalists ha uh ha -huh. where are we going anyway uh <laughs> Just hear me out. You said we were gonna go play mini golf. <laughs> Respectfully, Professor. I can't actually believe you fell for that. I love mini golf. Yeah. Um, listen. 
There's this secret military base. Oh, please, not another bullshit website conspiracy. It's not bullshit. They're doing illegal scientific research. Turn the car around. Human experiment. Turn the car around. Frank! 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 All the times we've talked after class, have I ever intimated that I wanted to return to Willamette? It'll be fine. You need to relax. Yeah, she says before the screaming starts. Ugh. You're the one who always says that I take crap photos on my phone. You do. So, who better to learn than from a world-class photographer? That's my camera. Yeah, it was hanging in your closet. Which was locked. Not very well. Listen, the source says body bags going in and out. Rumors of human trials, abandoned missile site. Come on, Frank. How can you say no to this? No. Frank, this is our chance. Please. All right, when well, I'm driving. What? No, this is my car. You are here to learn. Remember two minutes ago, this was my story. You were here to watch and learn how a real investigative journalist does his shit in the field. With nothing but his notes, his camera, and his fucking balls. You got it? Wow. Number two. Your source said illegal human experimentation, which means there may be some shit you do not want to see. Yeah? If that happens, you will stay cool. You will get the notes, I'll take the pictures, we'll get the story, and we'll get out. Okay. You want to break the story. You don't want the story to break you. Got it. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? All right. This goes well, you get the next one. Fist bump. Uh, no. Come on, just do it. I, I, no, I can't. Too cool for school, huh? I see. We got some work to do. Crazy old mofo. Contacts say how to get inside. Yeah. There's a security card hidden in the shed somewhere. All right, then. Here we go. I'll check it. You keep an eye out. Yeah. You got it. a door nearby. Come on. Okay, just slow down, Nancy Drew. I don't want to get shot, okay? He's just sleeping. Oh. Uh, okay. No way this is some reservist training center. Those guys were dressed for combat. And what's with the masks? I saw. Look, can you just calm down a bit? Whatever's here, we're not leaving without it. It's a promise. Oh, yeah? Knew you had a Frank West in there somewhere. Shut up. 
Wait up! Shh! I heard something. Oh my god. Get some pictures. Do you think? I have done this before, you know. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. Nick, I forgive you. This is way better than mini golf. Wow, a little callous, don't you think? They're just zombies, Vic. I know. It's just they were people once. Look, it was them or me. Can we just get on with the reportage? All right, all right. I'm with you.
Bingo. Some kind of laboratory? You take notes, I'm gonna shoot this stuff. Come on, Frank. What the hell, Frank? I think this equipment is for stimulating changes in the brain. What, are you a med student too? Nah, I just read a lot of sci-fi. Ah-ha! It looks like they've been operating on them. There's already a vaccine for zombieism. So what's the point? It's creepy, whatever it is. Zombrex. This stuff suppresses zombieism if you get bit. Yeah, but everyone's immune to the parasite now. Shit. Where do they even get these zombies? Look, we don't need all the answers. Just enough to sell the story. Come on, let's keep moving. Too dark. Turn on your night vision filter. My what now? Oh, I added a bunch of new filters to your camera, so after the prerequisite amount of old man grumbling, give it a try. Huh. Neat. Anything interesting? I'm looking, I'm looking. This is some kind of surveillance room. Come on, let's take a look. Physically, she's symptom free now. That's a big improvement. Otherwise, no change. Why am I looking at this? We're not improving the treatment, we're perfecting it. What the client is expecting is this is the type of project that requires a lifetime of research. Now, the progress you see is. If you can't meet the deadline, Doctor, you'll be replaced. Put this one with the others. They're experimenting on zombies. Imprisoning them. But what for? For observation. They're trying to create something. Shit. Frank, we're gonna stop these assholes, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. We get the story, we get out, we get paid. That's what we do. That's all we do. Huh. Something you want to say? Always. <sighs> Wrong night to go commander, I tell you. Oh, Frank. Gross. Shit, this door is code locked. You can hack the code with your spectrum analyzer. Let me guess. You messed with my camera again, right? You're a quick one. Uh, that's what she said. I've never seen a zombie freak out like this before. God, Frank. Look at her. She's suffering. Yeah, and the only way forward is through this chamber. Interesting. Who wants barbecue? No? No one? Holy shit, Frank. 
This is some atrocity level shit going on here, and the best you can do is crack wise? That is unfair. I have photographed things and thought about things. You don't actually care what's happening to these people, do you? Look, let's just get what we came for and get out of here, okay? Okay. Wow. Mmm, break fried. <laughs> Look at all this. I need pictures of everything. Their faces are all the same. Yeah. Big family, you think? Shut up. All right, no screwing around. Just get these shots and go. It's another one. What are these bastards doing? Photos. Need photos. Coffee break later. You know what this is? Yeah. DNA test results. They're cloning people. Manufacturing fodder for zombie research. Experimenting on them. Imprisoning them. Vic, this story's gonna win us every award on the planet, so please, please, just stay focused long enough for us to get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. That's someone crying. Vic, we have what we need. Let's go now! Vic, stop! What are you doing? That's what I said. Stay fucking calm. Now you put us both in danger. You were just gonna leave her? Just use her? We for need to what? get out of here. Do you understand me? For your pictures! Your stupid pictures! I'm a reporter, Vic. That's what I do. I report. And if you can't do the same, if you can't take yourself out of the picture, then you should get the hell out of here! Oh, shit. Go, go, go! Something out here I can use. Oh, yeah, now we're talking.
too middle-aged for this shit. Holy crap! got an intruder tearing up the place, and the commander wouldn't be very impressed if we just let it happen. So shut up, suit up, and clean up. Understood? Sir, sir. yes, yes sir. sir. West? Am I under arrest? Possibly. Leaning towards yes? That depends. On? How well you work with others. Oh, well, shit, that's never been my strong suit. <laughs> Just kind of stuffy in here, don't you think? Fresh air, you I really thought that would work. All right, well, it seems I have some time in my hands. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I know who you are. Colonel Brad Park, commander of the ZDC. I'm up on my zombie news, thank you very much. Of course you are. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate is to respond to zombies on U.S. soil. Yes, and confine and silence anybody who knows the truth. I'm all up on it. Thank you. It's happening again in Willamette. What is? An outbreak. I didn't see anything on the news. How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? It's a long time to silence an entire town. Not for them. Who? Oh. The Pentagon. Oh, shit. What did you see there? You know what I saw. Nobody knows, Frank. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top-level report. This reservist training center, I have yet to see anyone who's actually stationed there. All communications in and out of the town are gone. Hell, the satellite photos have been updated in four months. It is being covered up. But <clears throat> also.
all that pales in comparison to the mystery of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class instead of being two steps ahead of me on this. I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Do you know how many outbreaks I've been part of, how many I've covered, and what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous, no flowers, just a contact book filled with dead people. National Headliner Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on U.S. So I photographed the whole thing. You got some medals, a few letters behind your name. Honorary, of course. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Three weeks later, I tried to expose the Pentagon and the entire U.S. government for their involvement with it, and they buried me! Because you didn't have sufficient evidence. You come with me to Willamette. We expose this bullshit. And you do it right this time. Frank. Frank, there's a lot more stake here than just one town. No. I'm out. Whoever breaks this, they're in for some big gains. Maybe even win back something. But actually, I'm surprised that you let an amateur rip this up from under you. What the hell are you talking about? This is one of your students, isn't it? Oh. Uh, I think you... Whoops. <clears throat> team you've assembled. Coming up on Willamette. Kill your discretion. Get out of here. 
need cover. That hotel looks good. Eh, three stars the best. You ever stop clowning? I should take a good look around. Fine, just meet me at the hotel. straight for the shelter. Sorry, had to stop for a samosa. Hey! <sighs> hey! Come over here before they see you! Shit ton of them. Can we get a room? Separate beds, though. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, technically speaking, you'd be our first guest. What do you mean? Are you guys from out of town or something? All this shit started on Black Friday, which, not coincidentally, was the day after the grand opening sale. You're saying this mall wasn't even open one day before it got destroyed by zombies? We gotta move. That door leads to the maintenance hallway? Yeah, but the manager locked himself in there when he got bit. Been trying to bust it down for, like, ever. There they are! Get them! You're done! Hey! Hey! We got trouble! Cover me! While I get this door open! Oh! Yeah! Take that, you fascist! Front entrance!
What the? Oh, great! Think of this place. We're good. Let's go. Ah, shit. You were an asshole, Ted, but you didn't deserve this. I'm Connor, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm investigating the outbreak. You know anything about how it started? I know these military assholes were guarding something super secret near the mall front entrance. But there's this journalist. What journalist? Hey, she had a boy's name. Can't remember. Vic. Where's Vic now? She was holed up in the mall security center for a while. Might still be there. We should head for the security center. There might be some weapons there. Good plan. Except I'm going solo. What? Look. This outbreak is almost certainly some kind of test. It's probably run by these military jerk-offs. And now I need to find out why. And I'm not gonna be able to do that with some flatfoot holding my leash. No offense. All right, I'll head into town, look into relief efforts. You learn something, you clue me in. Yeah, if I get time. All right, I'm out of here. There's a militia forming out in West Ridge. I'm gonna join up and kill a few more of these pricks. Later, bros. Good luck to you, West. Luck I got. What I need is a big, wet, juicy scoop. Huh. Let's try it. All right, Connor says Vic's holed up at the security center. Gotta find out what she knows. Then I'm gonna kick her scrawny ass out of town. What's your problem?
Not a normal... Zombification needs to take days. What the hell was that? That's not good in here. I hope this is not thick. Don't want to go out there empty handed. Glad I'm not out there.
You've been here long? You know anything about a reporter named Vic? Uh, yeah, yeah. She was holed up in this room for a while. Left some of her stuff here. Go on. Take a look. And hey, I owe you one, pal. I was running a shop here until someone left the goddamn front door open. You need something? Come see me in a few. That's Vic's handwriting on the wall. Must be the place. I should try a different view. Front entrance. Huh. This is military hardware. It looks like Vic's been using it to upload reports. All right, so the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance, and Connor said this PMC was guarding the entrance. Well, I think I need to go take a little look myself. Hey, before you head out, something you ought to know. Heard you talking to yourself. If you're heading to the front entrance, you should take the garage towards Medieval Village. Every other way's been sealed off since the military showed up. Careful, though. Those idiots with the gas masks have built some kind of stronghold out in Medieval Village. You go, you better go ready for a fight. Better stock up while you can. Huh. Okay. It's hard, but I have my sword. You can never be too careful. Just take care of yourself, <sighs> man. Spit off if I stay down here too long.
lifesaver. I'm heading straight for the shelter. I think I saw that. She's been uploading some kind of reports. I found her first one. Let me play for you. All right, Big Chu, day one. Willamette is lost. Full-scale outbreak, the horde is everywhere. Thousands, maybe tens of thousands dead. These paramilitary asshats are just a piece of the puzzle. The government did this. And when I prove that, when I unmask the masterminds, well... Maybe I'll convince even the mighty Frank West that journalism is worth more than a fat paycheck. That's about a month old. Shit! She's way ahead of me! I'll try to find some more. In the meantime, keep an eye out for those terminals. Park out. The undead are going to feel very threatened. Thank <laughs> you. 
should be more careful. Beg pardon, my lord, but this here's the sovereign land of the mighty Queen Sandra, so ye can go and fuck us right off! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm hungry. 
hungry. Well, hey there! I did not know the historical shithead society was in town. What did you just say to me? <laughs> well, if Queen Sandra is half as inbred as she sounds, then she's my kind of lady. You'll pay for that! Your mother was a gopher and your father smells of body spray. Hey! Open up! So I can teach this old fart a lesson! Hey! Tin Man! I'm not the bad guy here! Gonna tear you up! You're gonna die, dipshit! Aren't you a little old for dress up? Go kill yourself already!
Iron Man! I'm not the bad guy! Are you a little old for dress up? God damn it. I just want through! You guys are nuts! Don't kill yourself, old guy! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, well, that just happened. Now, Vic seemed to think the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance. Better go check it out. Whoa, something major going on. What's going on here? No. are gathered together under a guy named Tom. He's been making sure they have food and supplies and training up a few volunteers to serve as anti-zombie militia. One of Tom's people is a woman named Hammond who's going to show me around the city. Tom wants me to report back whatever I learn, so he's agreed to provide me with food and shelter while I'm here. Pretty fair trade, I think, since he's living what I'm writing. I'm not here to profit off of his suffering. Bad, I just killed everyone who knows the entry code. It is amazing how useful this filter is.
Well, set my balls on fire. What the shit happened here? What the hell am I even looking at? These military assholes were investigating what happened here. Says all these people were lined up for the big Black Friday sale. Guess he got more than they bargained for. Soldiers didn't do this, and the zombies definitely didn't do this. So what the hell is going on here? Oh my God! Look at this. I've been trying to get in here for weeks. Holy shit! Hey, hey! What are you doing? Get out of here! Calm down, pal. There's plenty to go around. Hey, buddy! My scene. Beat it. Oh, you're Frank West. You, you're the hero of Willamette. Look, hey, man, name's Darcy. We should totally work together, you know? Share the story. Right. Seriously? Hey, oh, you have to meet my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, editor, Paula. She's, she's got a podcast, this really popular podcast. She's been investigating these Obscurus guys for weeks. Obscurus? That's the name of this outfit? Yeah. Paula's an expert on them. You know, actually, I would love to meet your girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I, I think she's at City Hall in Old Town. Yeah, I, go talk to her. <laughs> Shit. I can't wait to see her face when she hears I got Frank West working for us. Damn! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. See you around. Well, Willamette, you're certainly still full of surprises. So this guy, Brad Park, director of CDC, says there's an outbreak in Willamette, and little Vicky Chu is already there, getting the scoop. My scoop. So, we're flying over Willamette. Wham! Rocket hits us. I quickly learned two things. One, Vic's been here for goddamn weeks. She took an interest in this paramilitary group and the goings-on at the mall's front entrance, which, and this is the second thing I learned, turns out to be the bloodiest, ugliest, weirdest thing I have ever seen. Definitely not front-page material, depending on the publication. So Obscurus isn't the only act in town, but they sure ain't handing out blankets either. So I'm heading into Willamette. Maybe find out what they're up to and who's footing the bill. Fingers crossed.
hello? Is this Frank West? Save your Willamette? Yes, though I also answered a hey asshole or Frank who? Yeah, I'm Paula, as in the undead gospel of. It's my zombie podcast. Dossie gave me your number. Oh, brother. So, uh, I hear you have something for me? Yeah. Meet me at the archives department at City Hall. The door's around back. And Frank, come alone. God damn, my fans are weird. 